Alright, so this is the costume video, which is taking ages to make, because I had to keep making sure, because there's big differences between the Xbox version of this game and this one, and I had to also figure out what setting would be best for this. We're going to start out with Special 1. This is a costume. Um, and first night, because the first cutscene gives you a really good, like, kind of look at what Mickey's looks like. <laughs> um, this one you unlock for beating the game on normal the first time. So, um, I forget what it actually is. Her costumes are really cute, though. Yeah, it's a little brown jacket thing. We're just gonna watch, like, the first cutscene and let it, let it kind of give you a couple looks around at the, at her and what she looks like because the cutscenes really portray how much detail went into the costumes. And there you go. And you can see she's kind of wearing some brown boots because it doesn't really show her feet. So I'll have to do that. But yeah, that's that one. And every time I have to exit the game and reload it. So um, There's only three costumes for this version. The Xbox version has like six, I think. And an extra difficulty. Um, first night. Special two. Game start. This one is really cool. I really like this one. This one you get by beating Nightmare Mode. Yeah, by beating Nightmare Mode. And she's in blue. Not only that, her hair is dyed blue. Yeah, I mean, just, it shows how much detail. And she's even wearing different makeup and different lipstick and stuff. It's very, very neat how much detail went into these particular costumes that they changed it for every cutscene, even. That can't be said about some games like um, Resi 4. And you can see she's wearing some garters. Oh, give me a... She's wearing some garters, some nice black boots, and stockings. White stockings, so... Last costume, this is a brand new one, and I didn't notice some of it until I, like like the details of it until I watched the uh, uh when I was looking for the cutscene stuff. Alright. First night. Special three. Good job. Let's go. Here's the last one. That as far as I know on the PlayStation 2 version, this is all you can get. Look at that. Brighter makeup, darker skin even It's not even just, it was all, she has darker skin there, she has lighter makeup, and she's in brown, or black rather. She's in a school uniform -y type of thing, I think. But she has darker skin there. That's so much detail. Um, and in this one she's wearing some fishnets it looks like. <laughs> this isn't a school uniform costume. I don't know, it kind of looks like it. Maybe they're just black hose and some heels, I think. Shout me, you. Alright, we're going to run around a little bit. So, yeah, this is totally... You get this one, I don't know if I mentioned it, by beating the game three times. Now, if you notice, I have like six Sacred Waters, 13 Herbal Medicines, and a Stone Mirror. This is from... My um, other playthroughs, they stack up. Like, if you keep the stuff, it stacks up. Like, stone mirrors, obviously, you can only have one at a time. Things like that. That's another thing about, like, playing the game again. Everything stacks up. And also, I don't know if I mentioned this, so I'm going to mention it now. This ghost right here, you cannot get... Unless you're playing, like, your second or third time. Manet partition you cannot get unless you've played like the second or third time. Right, so I think that's all I need to show you as far as like little things like that. You unlock chapter mode after you beat nightmare mode. You unlock nightmare difficulty after you beat battle mode. What beating battle mode means is you go through mission select. You go through 20 of these battles. Okay? 
Now we're going to go through the special functions really quick, which I totally can't do right here. Camera settings. All right, here we go. Special functions are things that you get after you beat the game. Sense was after you beat battle mode. Just beat it. This one right here that I don't have is if you beat battle mode, when you beat battle mode with all S ranks. I'm going to try and do this for you guys, but it's really hard. Zoom is what you get if you beat the game once on normal. None is what you get if you beat nightmare mode. Zero is what you get if you get all 108 ghosts on the ghost list. Now, I've done an entire walkthrough of the ghost list and how to get every single ghost. So, no problems there. You don't even have to worry about that because I've done a complete, complete walkthrough of that ghost list. Um... Here you can totally play around with tracks. Next track, next. Yeah, we'll just skip around. Just kind of go through it real quick. Play a little bit of each track. I'm not, like, really interested in this. Sound test. Sound test is going to take a while. Yeah, we're just going to totally, like... <laughs> That's supposed to be one of the ghost tracks. And there's the children. Yeah, here's all the creepy stuff. Forty-seven. There's forty-seven tracks on this you can listen to. I'm not going through them. Okay. There you go. That's all there really is, except for me actually doing battle mode for you guys. You kind of like can't do anything. So I'll do battle mode for you as soon as I like actually get an S rank on something. I got really close with one of these, but I didn't save it. So I think it was the editors. So I'm going to work on my Fatal Frame ghost killing skills.